Hi all, Hartik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I want to discuss Dynamic Post version 2. Now, we have already discussed how to do archives using Dynamic Posts widget, but now Dynamic has come up with another widget. We'll basically take a look at that. And this video is brought to you by the folks behind Dynamic Content Plugin. Thanks to the folks behind Dynamic Content Plugin for sponsoring this video. Let's see how Dynamic Posts version 2 works. So open up any page, post or a template by clicking on Edit with Elementor. Once you're in the Elementor interface, you can actually search for the Dynamic Posts or scroll through and you see the latest Dynamic Posts version 2. Well, why is this called version 2? You'll understand. I'll just click and drag it. And as soon as I drag it, it pulls up the posts on my site. And to start with, you can have different skins for your post. So a regular grid, a carousel. So you can click to slide between various posts. You can have dual carousel. You have one main slide and few additional slides at the bottom. You can use these for the navigation. Or you can actually click this arrow to swipe between the different posts. You can have a timeline view of your post. So as you scroll through, all of the posts are displayed. So that's a neat little way to have a timeline of. And the posts can be any post. They can be posts, pages, your custom post types, whatever you've got. You can simply display, pull them up. I'll show you that in a bit. And then there's something called 3D. So all the posts show up in the 3D format and you can simply click to slide between various posts. You can also interact with these posts. I think this is one of the most unique features. Maybe that's the reason why they call it version 2. And you can have smooth scroll. So if you scroll through, different posts are revealed with different kinds of animation. Of course, you can customize each of the items for each of the skin. Then you have something called crossroads, which is kind of unique. So this works based on click. So whatever you see, you just need to click. When you see a plus button or icon, you just need to click and that opens up that particular post. Click again and that will close or minimize the post. Hover away from the post and you see this arrow, click to scroll to the next post. So this is how it works. It's called crossroads. And it's really artistic in nature. And based on the kinds of skin that you choose, you can also customize the style of the loop items. So you can have different styles such as this. So you can have image at the background and the text here. Or you can have an overlay. So you can have your content on top of your image. And for each of the skins, you can also customize the number of columns that you want each of the row so you can choose two you can choose three columns and you can also tweak between various layouts within each of the skin so if i pick block i can pick how many items should be there in the first column if i choose one by one i have a big post and then i have regular flex items or the column items so based on your requirement you can tweak these things and then you can also define your own custom post loop. Well, just like the way we did for dynamic posts version one. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check out dynamic content plugin playlist on the channel. We have already discussed how to do archives using dynamic posts. And for each of the skins selected, you can choose a variety of style of items and there are additional controls. So you can pick mask. For the featured image, you can see if I pick this mask, the image is shown through that mask. You can pick any sort of mask that you want. You can also upload your own custom PNG with the shape in which you want to show the image. So this is also really artistic and it's really cool. If you don't want the mask, you can simply remove that. You can have transforms. So you can rotate your image at any angle you want and you can do all sorts of stuff again like i said for each of the skin you have different options you can play with them so since we've picked grid 
we can pick the style of each items we can also define our individual style using elementary template basically we are going to design a custom loop i'll just open up finder to quickly show you how to do that in case you don't know so i'll just open up finder command d go to my wordpress dashboard and i'll just create a new template i'll call it dynamic v2 loop just click on create template and the loop should have dynamic items or the dynamic widgets so that it can pull individual data it's basically telling elementor which is the data to be displayed in the individual item as you can see it's featured image title and stuff in here but you can put your own stuff you can add icons you can add custom fields and stuff like that but i'll just keep it simple i'll just drag my title over here i'll align it onto the center i'll click again and i'll have a featured image and for the featured image i'll just add a border radius of maybe around 100 pixels so that the corners are a bit rounded i don't see featured image in here because this is a loop and this particular page doesn't have a featured image but once you apply it to the skin you can actually see the thing in action so you just kind of have to visualize things beforehand and finally let's click on read more let's have a little icon well you can play with any of the things that you want but i'll settle with this you can also drag any of the dynamic widgets that you see over here so maybe you can have date above right so the published date let's also adjust the style of it a bit you can also adjust the typography so something of that sort and i'll just hit publish and I'll just update this page. I'll reload this page so that it gets the newly defined template, which is the, uh, the loop that we just made right here. So once it's updated, I can simply click on the widget, click on elementary template and the template name is dynamic V2 loop. It's this one. So as I pick it, you may not see the preview here we do and you can see that each of the individual items design is derived from the template that we just made here it doesn't matter if this is elementary full width elementary canvas it just pulls in the dynamic data and shows in the loop since we made the corners of the featured image rounded it shows it shows the date it shows the title and it has the read more button now you can play with this you can also define an odd template right so you can pick an odd template and you can have a different design for odd template this is for even items and for odd items you can have a different look so again just create another page or a section and define a template maybe change few colors and pick the template here you can also make them linkable so if you click on each of the items it will take you to the post and so on you can also customize the columns and stuff anyway so i'll change the skin from grid to carousel it will take a bit and just like that a custom loop is applied even here right you see our custom loop in action you can also go with any of the default styles which look better with their skins but anyway if you are really good at designing your own custom loop you can quite easily do that I just want to show this 3D skin, which is really cool in my opinion. As you can see, each of the items in the 3D skin gets our custom loop design. Not a problem. I'll update this. And in order to see the 3D skin in action, you actually have to open the actual page or click on the eye icon, the preview changes button. And that opens up this thing in a preview page. and What's cool about 3D mode is that you can actually click and drag to change the perspective. You can also rotate them. You can just flip them over. 
you can adjust them you can play with them actually this is a cool way to maybe have your portfolio displayed right it's it basically reminds me of ipod slideshow the itunes slideshow and you don't have to worry uh, how to reset this when you click on the arrow button all of that will be reset and you basically have a carousel of 3d items and that's really cool but your user can also play with the items so that's really neat click again it comes back to 3d mode so this is really neat where you can define your loop and you can also change the skin this is my personal favorite and one based on the skin that you have so let's say i just picked dual carousel based on the skin that you pick you may need to tweak these things right so not all skins look good with your custom loop so you may want to use one of the built-in loops or built-in things and since i picked carousel i can adjust the animation i can make it a cube so you can see the preview in action you can you can also choose pagination and you can also choose autoplay so all the slides will be automatically played and there's ton of stuff in here and there's one more thing that i want to mention in here so if you pick one of the default skins you may want to basically hide some of the items so i'll just show it with the grid itself which is the default thing so here the content is also being shown i don't want to show the whole content because it's really messy so i'll just scroll down and i can click on items i can actually uncheck the things that i really don't want so i don't want to see the content so i'll just click on the hidden button and just like that the content is hidden you can obviously show the excerpt if your post has it you can actually hide author as well if you don't like to have author and so on right so there's a ton of details that you can customize even with the built-in skins but if you want total customization just design an elementor post loop and just use this option which is to use the loop itself and you can have mask for each of the items in the featured image and you can also have custom meta items in case you have custom fields you can also have those in here you can also choose the hover effect so if i have push in here just like that so the hover effect and all of these effects are actually applied to individual loop items not the whole skin or lot the grid of thing and under query you can choose what kinds of posts you want so in case you want to display your custom post types such as your portfolios or basically any post types that you create on your site you can basically pick them and those will be displayed in here you can also choose dynamic you can also choose from acf relations we'll talk about that later you can also pick number of posts that you want maybe if you just want four posts you can just limit the whole grid so you can basically build any kinds of grids and post offsets in case you want to leave some posts before starting out and you can also order them you can also filter those posts by date by term by author so if you want to just show the posts written by an author you can basically filter them by an author pick the author name and just like that you can filter them only those posts will be shown and you obviously have the style tab where you can tweak various things so you can adjust the gap between the grid items rows gap columns gap and there's ton of things that you can adjust you can also have a background color for block or for each of the loop item so basically all things you can play with all sorts of things that you can play with so this is a quick look at dynamic post version 2 there's a lot of detail like i said you just need to go in and play with these and there's one more interesting skin that i came up with which is grid to full screen it just looks like a not normal ordinary grid but when you click on it it has an animation and it opens up in full screen and that's really neat you can also have different settings so they have different effects so this is effect 2 
you can see the whole warp thing and you can adjust the animation duration the panel you can also have a template for each of the loop items just like the way we did for the grid so you can design another loop for this whole 3d full screen thing and so on so you can play with most of these you can have scroll reveal and you can have ton of stuff and one more skin i'm really interested in showing is this which is smooth scroll so it basically reveals the posts as you scroll through i'll just remove the hover animation because it's way too much to take for now so i'll just go to the I'll just click on update and this whole thing will be updated the preview as you scroll through you can see that thing in animation now you need to remove the tower animation because it will be too much of animation but you can see how these all things play together so this is dynamic posts version 2 this video is brought to you by dynamic content plugin they have a halloween discount of about 20% off, I guess so you can check that out from the link in the description if you are waiting to get this plugin now is a good time to get it that's it for now I'll catch you in the next one see you peace